Hello and welcome to Bisbee Cleaners. I'm Eric Tessier. This is my dad, Larry. He's been the owner and operator of this dry cleaning shop for over 25 years. Today we're going to take you on a quick tour. Follow me. I'll show you where the magic happens. This is our marking station. When your clothing arrives, we assign a four-digit number to help us keep track of your garments. On a busy day, we can handle upwards of 2,000 pieces, so having a system that works without exception is crucial. During marking, we assess your clothing to look for special conditions, as well as to check the pockets to see if you've left anything inside. Another condition that we look for is prior damage, and one of the most important things is looking for stains that are going to be necessary to be removed before the dry cleaning process. Once a stain has been identified, we bring the garment to our stain removal table. We use a combination of water, steam, compressed air, and vacuum to break down the stains and to dry the garment prior to dry cleaning. It's essential that the garment have no moisture in it prior to dry cleaning because the two don't mix. We have a variety of different solutions that we use for different types of stains. Once we've identified the material, then we can use a particular solution to dissolve the stain, dry the material, and dry clean it. So this is one of our two dry cleaning machines. It's a fairly typical dry cleaning machine, rated at 40 pounds of capacity. Uh, this particular brand is a programmatic, but there are many very good dry cleaning machines in the market. The vast majority of the dry cleaning machines made in the world are made in Italy, uh, and they've just been handling that market for many, many years. There are machines that are made in North America, but for the most part, the Italians have got it pretty well figured out. A dry cleaning machine is like a gigantic washer spin dryer. The difference between a dry cleaning machine and a home washer is the dry cleaning machine uses a fluid, it's clear, but it's not water, it's a solvent. The advantage of the solvent is it dissolves grease and fats, whereas water requires a detergent to do that for it. The other advantage of dry cleaning is that it does not cause the fibers in the material to swell. And when there's no swelling in the fibers, there's no shrinkage of the fibers. And that's why materials like wool and silk, which typically you wouldn't clean at home in a washing machine, can be dry cleaned. Because the dry cleaning machine works very well on degreasing, it's not as good as in trying to remove sugar stains. And so we also use a detergent in the dry cleaning machine that uses this very, very small amount of water, like one cup to 50 gallons. That small amount of water is used to help dissolve stains. Okay, so this is a professional pressing station, and I'll show you how we press a pair of pounds at the cleaners. The first thing that we use is what's called a pad topper, and it allows us to steam out the top portion of the pads. This particular unit is called a Sakosha, and it's made in Taiwan. The advantage of this unit is that it has a tensioning function, so that when you activate it, it pulls on the legs and makes them nice and stiff. As soon as that steams out, I'll lay these on the press to set the crease. We press one leg at a time, and we just lay that flat on the press. As you can see, the press has material, both top and bottom, to protect the fabric. We use a small amount of steam. And as soon as that steam goes in, this press is connected to a vacuum and it vacuums out the excess moisture. The benefit to that is we're setting the material and we're setting the crease and it's nice and sharp. Do the second leg, the same as the first. Finally, gets a nice new hanger, and that's a professionally pressed pair of pounds. And now I'm going to show you how we professionally press a man's sports dog. We 
put the jacket on our mannequin. This particular jacket is a little bit tall, so we're just going to raise the form a bit. We'll clamp that in place, and I'm going to use a sleeve form to help keep those nice and straight. It doesn't take any wrinkles out. Now we're going to activate front and back clamps and expanders at the waistband. moisture out. At this point, the jacket is almost completed, but we're going to use a hand iron just to do a touch up on the lapels and the pocket flaps and make sure there aren't any other wrinkles. And then it's ready to wear. So this is a tensioning shirt and blouse press. The advantage to this is that it has the ability to go from a very, very small shirt, a lady's size zero, to a man's triple extra large. First, we'll clamp it in place. Now we're gonna set the side pocket so that it will tension. I just raise those up to the correct height. We'll lock those in place, and now I'll set the two arm. We just capture the cuff in each side. And this will steam inside out, and then blow hot air to dry it out. So. Okay, this is our professional shirt pressing unit. One of the reasons that we can do such a great shirt is that we press the shirts wet. After they're washed, they come to the shirt unit, we dress it onto this body, and clamp the neck, connect both of the cuffs to the unit, and then stretch that out. And then it's shot between the two plates. Now these two nickel plated plates are extremely hot, which allows the shirt to be pressed in one quick step. The sleeves are dried with hot air, and after that, it'll go to our inspector and our tech-up station. All right, so the final step of the finishing process is an inspection as well as a touch-up to ensure that all of the wrinkles are out of the shirt. We want it to look great when you're wearing it, and I mean, it's very important. So as you can see, that's taking it out, and it's putting a crisp crease at the bottom just to hold with the seam. So after that's done, we put it on a hanger, and it gets bagged up and waits for you to arrive to pick it up. Hold it's black. When it comes time to pick up your clothing, check out our drive through service. You can both pick up your clothing and pay from the comfort of your vehicle. Saskatchewan winters are cold. 
Thanks, sir.